Well, Thanos is going to be a pretty heavy villain in uh, Avengers Infinity Wars. He's in part one and two, played by Josh Brolin. I would like to speculate that Thanos has to kill someone from the Avengers, or someone we're familiar with from phase one and two of Marvel's uh, universe. I want to speculate with you, Lloyd, who's going to die next, basically. He better kill someone, Dave, otherwise he's got no credibility at all. Well, I mean, that's the thing. To be one of these villains... And also, I mean, inspire the team. If you recall, Agent Coulson died, in inverted commas, uh, in the first Avengers movie, and then they had someone to avenge. Why, why in inverted commas? Well, because he's back on the TV show. Oh, he didn't Agents actually of die? Shield. Uh, it's, it's a grey area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Age of Ultron, of course, saw the death, a death that was unexpected in Quicksilver, and um, we got a whole new Avengers team by the end of Age of Ultron. So, uh... If we could just rattle off the people who may or may not die in this, Lloyd, I think we could do this as a bit of a process of elimination. The first person I'd like to eliminate is Hulk. Reason being is Mark Ruffalo's Hulk. He has already tried to commit suicide. As he said, he woke up like the the other guy spat out the bullet. He can't kill himself. So if he can't kill himself, it's going to be near impossible for someone else to kill him, you know, sort of makes him really impossible to kill and hulk is very iconic would you agree from a business standpoint um all of hulk's movies haven't been successful at all so you know they could just get rid of him based on that (laughs) i would think mark ruffalo's character uh with the love interest with black widow they could pull it off very unresolved also at the end of age of ultron uh hulk has left he got in that fighter jet and off he goes you know I think he will actually be one of the people who returns to avenge someone, if you will. I feel like the end of Infinity Wars Part 1 will see many characters come back so that you're really hyped for Part 2. I feel like Part 1 will just be a lot of setup, perhaps the death of a beloved character, and then Part 2 will be, let's get Thanos. I think you're right. I think um, Hulk is too invincible. There's no way he's going to die. Can we also say Iron Man is really the heart of Marvel? Yeah. Yeah. He started off the entire thing. You, you, you brought know. up an interesting point, though. Like, um, Robert Downey Jr., I think... I don't know if you said he's absolutely bored playing Iron Man or he's just looking to retire playing that character over and over again. Is it a case that he'll die off... He'll either die or give up so he can give the Iron Man character to somebody else? Or how how, how do you see that working out? Um, well, he's an expensive asset to have, for sure. But... Every Iron Man movie rates, and he's a massive part. Like, the world is very centralised around Tony Stark. But say if uh, Robert Downey Jr. doesn't want to play him anymore. If he's had enough, if for some reason the money's not there, which it has been every time, but if it's not there, I foresee Robert Downey Jr.'s character hanging up the Iron Man suit for a while. In so many Marvel comics, you see somebody else helm Spider-Man or, you know, Iron Man, somebody else wear the suit, don the crown, if you will, Uh, and become that character for a while, while another one sort of steps aside. Uh, So I would see him retiring, in inverted commas, I suppose, just uh, to, you know, for whatever reason. It's possible he might ask for a really grand death, but I agree with you, he is worth a lot of money to Disney. I feel like they'll need to bring him back so many times. I feel like he's he's someone who's necessary, and uh, they'd want to keep bringing him back on a small scale, even if uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s had enough. Um, well, Thor is a god, so can you kill a god, first of all? That would be really interesting, um, if, if it's possible. Just the idea of the death of Thor is really intriguing, but like Iron Man, I don't think, I, I just don't see him dying. No, uh, I would say the same thing about Captain America. Um, though the actor who plays him, Chris Evans, would like to direct and maybe step away from being Captain America, I feel like you can't replace him because... He's a character who is of the past. He's of a certain kind of old-fashioned um, gentleman, and uh, he's been pumped with the serum and become Captain America. You can't have someone else wear the clothes of Captain America and take on his character because they need to have, you know, been through the whole process to become Captain America, basically. You can't just pick up the shield and be Captain America, can you? So I would feel like Captain America is irreplaceable, so therefore I wouldn't see them killing Captain America or Thor. I feel like those are the pillars of the original Avengers team. They're not going anywhere. 
Next, I look at Black Widow, played by Scarlett Johansson, and I feel like there was such an uproar uh, because she's the only female Avenger, you know? I feel like if they kill her off, they're actually killing off part of their demographic. Well, Women, would- Yeah, they got Scarlet Witch, I guess. Um, but since the beginning, Black Widow has been there uh, from the get-go, and I think everyone just absolutely loves Black Widow and Scarlett Johansson. Um, you know, she's just become uh, so- someone that you just always root for. And she, what's attractive about her, other than, of course, being played by Scarlett Johansson, is that she ha- doesn't have any of those superpowers that the others seem to have. So she's really paired up well with Hawkeye in the sense that they both uh, are just like the underdogs of the team. Yeah, that's right. And as well, as I mentioned, there's that unresolved love interest in Mark Ruffalo's Hulk. So let's look at Hawkeye. He's the guy who you would have definitely said would die after the first Avengers. <laughs> Absolutely. But um, Age of Ultron introduced, you know, a wife and, and family element that expanded his character, maybe made him more likable. That could be to set up a potential death, though. Uh, so I don't want to remove him from our shortlist at this stage. We've seen uh, Nick Fury die once, haven't we? We've assumed he's been dead before. And Winter we? Soldier, and that was really effective. Um, I, I love Winter Soldier, just one of my favourites of the Marvel um, canon so far. And yeah, I remember seeing his death, I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, I, f- I, ca- I felt kind of gypped at the end of that. <laughs> so would you think that maybe they've played that angle already and yes. it wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't be I, as effective? Yeah, it wouldn't be as effective. People go, oh, don't worry, he'll come back. Or it could be, like he'll, he'll come back and then it gets to the end, he's actually dead and you're like, oh, oh well that really hit home. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to take somebody else off the list. They've just cast a new Spider-Man, and Spider-Man is going to be introduced in um, Captain America Civil War, and so I feel they're not going to get rid of Spider-Man. I think he's a safe bet at this stage because I agree. they're kind of rebooting him. He's one of the most beloved characters in the entire Marvel franchise. There's no way they're getting rid of him. I think uh, Black Panther's probably safe as well. We haven't seen the Black Panther movie, but again... Uh, sort of a very new character and um, yeah I'm going to uh, remove Black Panther from my short list up to you Lloyd because we'll both come up with an answer at the end of this as to who we think is going to be killed off the Guardians of the Galaxy team are definitely tied into the Avengers universe uh, we're seeing Thanos is a common villain we're seeing the uh, Infinity Stones and therefore Guardians of the Galaxy, Peter Quill, Gamora, Drax, Groot, and Rocket sort of fall into this, you know, possibility of being in the firing line, would you say? Absolutely, yeah. So, uh, any of them you think are definitely safe? Maybe Peter Quill, Star-Lord? Yeah, I think Quill is probably the safest bet out of all of them. Groot seems to be an invincible character. Um, Maybe Gamora? Um, I would have zero, um, like, um, zeroed in on, like, uh, as one of the possible ones that are going to die. I think she'll have the most emotional weight if she does die. Like, Quill yeah. will be out for vengeance, you know, sort of thing, and we'll really see a very dark side to his character. So, if I was going to sh- say one person from Guardians of the Galaxy, it'd definitely be her. Be her. Yeah, I would, uh, I would say, once you pair off people in this kind of love interest, down the track, removing one of them just adds that kind of emotional weight and um also you get to introduce another love interest somebody else can then fall for star lord you know in the same sort of universe look uh, vision is impossibly strong uh we watched him pick up thor's hammer he's in dead Age of Ultron. <laughs> he's dead i think he's gone well he is uh he's definitely on the short list he'll, because... he'll be the first one because <laughs> <laughs> vision is um one like... i just don't like the character <laughs> Okay, that's a good reason. Um, and two, there's just something about the Infinity Stone and uh, Thanos wanting it. Um, it's like a case once he gets it, he's completed it. So he's his number one target is Vision. He's gone. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's fair. <laughs> It'll be I a think, hell of a um, fight, though. I think I'd like to go with a bit of a wild card, Lloyd. Um, I feel like, and this is going to possibly be controversial. I feel like they're going to kill Ant Man. I think Ant-Man, played by Paul Rudd, is basically the same storyline as Iron Man. I think he's become a bit redundant. The first film was a lot of fun, but um, I feel like he's there to introduce Wasp and then for us to go, okay, cool, here's this fun, loving character. But Paul Rudd has a pretty safe comedy career outside of Marvel. 
he doesn't need Marvel, Marvel don't need Paul Rudd, and killing off Paul Rudd, who is a beloved actor in this movie as his character, uh, I think would be a huge shock, because I think that's what they're looking for. You don't want it to be too predictable. If they killed Hawkeye, you'd go, oh, yeah, you know, <laughs> that's I can see that happening, you know. But I think killing Ant-Man, especially somebody so new, Ant-Man the film didn't perform as well as other films have. The next film, Ant-Man and Wasp, is definitely going to come out. But then I think no further Ant-Man films will come out. You don't out. think they'll go for the trilogy? No, I think Wasp herself will become part of the Avengers and then she will have someone to fight for because she was in love with uh, his character. Um, for me, I feel like Ant-Man is, uh, has got a massive X on him. Um, I just, I'm vibing it and I can see Paul Rudd making so many jokes in the aftermath on, you know, talk shows about how he had a small role in the Marvel Universe, you know, joking about that Ant-Man persona. I feel like there's a lot who could go, I mean, there's a lot of smaller characters. We've got um, Scarlet Witch, of course, who, you know, only attachment was Quicksilver, who's now gone. But I think she's ultimately needed to help defeat Thanos. She has this uh, reality warping, you know, ability to alter reality. And I feel like that's going to be invaluable, especially when he starts getting powerful from the Infinity Stones. What about War Machine? Ooh, War Machine. I like to put War Machine and Falcon in the same basket, pretty much. Yep. You know, as these um, pro- uh, poor man's proxies of the actual heroes, you know? Like, uh, um, Falcon is like, you know, the best friend of um, Captain, America, Captain America. And I really love it how he's by his side and really loyal the whole entire time. I'm really growing to like Falcon. And War Machine um, as well. He's a really loyal and friendly guy to Iron Man that's always there when he needs it conveniently for um, when a writer gets stuck as well. But um, wh- I-, I see them both as very um, expendable. I-, I see them both. You know, there's images in the trailer for um, Civil War. I don't know if you've seen it, but it looks yeah. like War Machine is dead. I, I don't think he is. I-, I just think he's really badly injured and Iron Man's holding him in his arms. Um, but definitely those two uh, would have big targets on their back. Definitely. Um, I'm not sure they would hold the emotional weight required. Thanos really has to stomp a foot down and become a massive villain straight away. And I feel like Ant-Man, someone who has solo movies, or even Vision, like you say, uh, he needs to basically strike right away and uh, prove how powerful he is. Look, the Winter Soldier, I I mean, may not even survive Civil War. Absolutely. The film. Yeah. So, and, and I think Maria Hill, played by Kirby Smulders, is maybe perhaps too small a character to have that kind of emotional impact you're looking for. Uh, What you want is that kind of unexpected death, and, you know, Quicksilver had that. He'd just been introduced, and you thought he was safe, basically. Uh, The the problem was, I suppose, is that there was also a Quicksilver character in X-Men, so it sort of became this, like, um, point of difference to get rid of theirs. So which Avenger will die next? We'll find out, of course, in the lead-up to uh, Avengers Infinity Wars, if Thanos will have this kind of impact. This has been really fun speculation. Leave your comments on our Facebook or uh, in the YouTube video and uh, tell us what you think. Tell us if we're insanely wrong. But at the end of this, Lloyd, I'm saying Ant-Man. Who are you saying? Oh, it's a tough one for me, but I'm, I'm definitely going with Vision um, as my number one pick, as the first guy that's going to die out of the... Um, uh, Marvel (laughs) out of the Avengers uh, team and so forth alright guys thanks for listening thanks for watching if you like what you see please hit the subscribe button like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter check out our podcast at www.podmeifyoucan.com